So I was simplifying it so much that the homeowners at the end were basically just like, well, why would I need you then? Like if I have damage, which you've confirmed that I do, and the insurance company is going to pay for it, like why do we need you? So do you see how that, that sales presentation really shows the homeowner why you're crucial? Yeah, absolutely. Because it's like you are there in their corner. Right. The adjuster is there in the insurance company's corner and it is their duty and their job to act in the best interest of the insurance company, AKA mitigate loss, AKA pay for as little as humanly possible. Okay. Yeah. Your job is call spade a spade. If there's damage, there's damage. You have way more knowledge and expertise than the homeowner ever, ever would about it. So just like a homeowner would never go to court, like, You'd never go to court without a lawyer, right? Right. Why? Because <laughs> he knows more about it than you do. Exactly. You'd basically be signing your own death sentence to go to court w without a lawyer because you're like, I'm going to totally fuck myself if I go to court and just be like, oh, uh, I plead the fifth. I don't know because you don't know the ins and outs of the law. You don't know how everything works. And so you can't defend yourself. Well, right. in the same sense, a homeowner cannot possibly represent themselves in an insurance claim because they don't know anything about roofs. They don't know anything about materials. They don't know anything about hail damage. They're probably not going to climb on the roof themselves. And if they didn't have you and an insurance adjuster showed up and said, nah, Mrs. Jones, you're fine. You don't have any damage up there. How does the homeowner know that that's right? Right. They never know the difference. They just kind of have to shrug and be like, well, I hope they're telling me the truth. Likewise, let's say that you weren't right. there still. And let's say that the insurance company came out and said, yeah, there's damage up there. And they wrote a check for $7,000. How does a homeowner know if that estimate is correct? They don't. Right. A contractor might come out and be like, this is an $11,000 job. Like they forgot ice and water shield. They didn't have drip edge on there. They don't have a dumpster. They don't have this code upgrade, yada, yada, yada. And that happens all the time, by the way, just so you know. I don't want to like overwhelm you right now. But the other thing is, you know, adjusters will come out and pay for claims, but they'll pay for like the bare minimums. It's kind of like making an offer. Like here's our offer. And the contractor comes back and says, that's a nice try, but here's our counter offer. Here's the right estimate. So we really yeah. are absolutely invaluable in the process of helping our homeowners, making sure that they're paid correctly and that you're paid correctly because that's how we stay in business is, we get paid yeah. right for what we do. So right. in a nutshell, next thing I'm going to go over with you is, and I'm actually going to, if you give me a second, I'm going to share my screen with you um, and also open up an actual, your, what Justin uses might be different, um, but I'm going to show you how I actually close because everything that you just heard me do was really kind of a soft close, but I'm going to show you what the uh, actual agreement looks like and how I cover it with a homeowner because this is pretty important.